Masturbation is a complex issue with various arguments for and against it. Around 78% of adults worldwide masturbate, which is alarming as it can have long-lasting effects on life. The Bible states that anyone who sins sexually sins against their own body, and anything done sexually to and with one's body is a sin. Most Christians who masturbate usually feel guilty after doing so, which indicates that it is not something they should be doing and is a sin. Masturbation is often started innocently, but it is important to be aware of the dangers to avoid falling victim to the trap of the devil. People start masturbating for different reasons, such as preventing themselves from committing fornication. releasing sexual tension, or feeling good when they don't have a sexual partner. However, many people do not know that the devil releases spirits into the world, which can cause severe damage and negatively change a person's relationship with God. One dangerous effect of masturbation is that it affects relationships with others. A person who spends time masturbating may find it difficult to form lasting physical or sexual connections with others due to their newfound sexual tension. Additionally, Masturbating can make it difficult for a person to reach orgasm during sex with their partners, which can lead to challenges. Additionally, masturbating can leave individuals alone, leading to loneliness and depression, serious mental health challenges. Long-time Christians who constantly masturbate deal with guilt and shame, especially those who want to stop and are seen as role models in the church. These feelings of guilt and shame can cause anxiety, depression, and reduce self-esteem making them lose confidence and setting a negative stigma towards themselves. The guilt and shame may be how the Holy Spirit tells them that what they are doing is wrong. Many people weep after masturbation, feeling guilt in a form of helplessness. They may even speak against themselves, believing that God cannot love them anymore, and the devil continues to reinforce these thoughts in their minds. In conclusion, masturbation is a complex issue with numerous dangers that need to be addressed, to prevent its long-term negative impact on a person's life. The sin of masturbation is a serious issue that can lead to a person's inability to have a sincere relationship with God. According to the Bible, a person's body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, and they must repent and ask God for forgiveness. This must be genuine, and with a real intention to change. God cannot be mocked, and it is not possible to continue masturbating without real repentance and change. Masturbation is an addictive activity that can have negative and dangerous effects on a person's life. It has enslaved many people, controlling their time, energy, thoughts and plans. Being addicted to masturbation means that one no longer has control over themselves and is no longer able to control their lives. The Bible states that God designed sex between one man and a woman, and in Romans 7 2 it states that because of sexual immorality, each man should have his wife and each woman her husband. God's purpose for sex is also for procreation, as God commands us to be fruitful and multiply. However, masturbation is different from these reasons, as it is done with just one person and does not lead to procreation. Romans 5.18 states that through Adam's sin, death and hell came to all men but another man, Christ. By confessing one's sins to Christ and repenting, he will give a new life. However, the Bible says that the soul that sin shall die, and if one continues in this sin, they may lead to eternal damnation. If a person is in the habit of masturbation, there is hope for them today. First, admitting that they are a masturbator and that masturbating is a sin is the first step. Next, be sincere to oneself and God and repent. Next, pray and ask God to forgive you and for the Holy Spirit to change you from within. Understanding your triggers and avoiding them with the help of the Holy Spirit is crucial. Testimonies of people being delivered from masturbation show that if you only believe, go to God in prayer. Devote time to studying the Word of God and allow the Holy Spirit to change your orientation. Jesus is calling you today, and if you have courage to come clean to God and let Him change your life, there is still hope for you.